Hey, Forgotten Oregon, Dirk Knutson here, Hillsboro boy, president of the Hillsboro Historical Society. But before I ever was any of those things, I was a little kid from Garden Home playing at this place right here. This is Alpenrose in its final days. All of the items have been auctioned. There goes the ticket booth as we speak. The auction, auction house O Gallery has sold everything the other night. Um, and so this one's for all of you, all of you Portland and you Oregon people and you people who have visited. I have limited access while I'm waiting to pick up an item I bought, which I'll show you in a minute. But moreover, I wanted to give you one last look. And who maybe has never walked down here? This is hallowed ground. Storybook Lane. All of these beautiful little storybook houses were sold and are being taken out by people and, and investors and uh, people who just wanted a piece of Alpenrose. The Wolf's House, the Three Little Pigs House, the Dairyville, Alpenrose Fire Department, Dairyville, I mean, it's unreal. Has anyone ever done anything as cool as this in Oregon? Uh, not very many, I should say. And so the auction was held and luckily all of these got sold. Everything's been sold. Um, the property's being developed and that's the matter of a lot of uh, debate and consternation. It's been in the media, it's been in the family, but let me get you down here a little further down. Here are the buildings that created uh, the Christmas town and the little town of Derryville, which is over here. And I know a lot of these buildings will be auctioned and repurposed, etc. Let me see if I can get us in here. Grabbing some stuff, huh? Wow. Yeah. You guys done good. Yeah. I hope. Here in the warming room are many wonderful items that were sold. Um, I came in after a couple specific items. And I'm very lucky um, to have been able to pick up this beautiful little Christmas sleigh. It happens to be on wheels. It will be a Christmas parade vehicle for me and my family um, for years to come. And uh, I tried to make a move on this early milk wagon. I believe this is the first delivery vehicle that was ever used by Alpenrose. They later put rubber tires on it. They did 1925. This, uh, Fantastic six-person wagon with the leather seats was sold. All these items got good money too. Uh, collectors were in the market, 2,000 bucks for that. I almost bought this little pony wagon. These are both cool. But bidding was tough and I couldn't afford too much. So I uh, purchased those items. The circus wagons are down here. In the distance is the velodrome where many of us uh, would have ridden bicycles, there were bike races in the, back in the day. The Little League fields are down below us. Uh, but here's the Rusty Nails Puppet House, Puppet Wagon. I tried to get this, I could not. And I don't know how many of you knew Rusty Nails, but uh, here is the Puppet Wagon where he did his performances. They had a stagecoach here, um, the Bell Wagon, was full of cowbells, was sold without them. This 1937 Divco delivery van was supposed to go for about 6K, it went for 30, which is just uh, a testament to what, the, what it is. I really wanted it, so did a lot of people. What a great piece of memorabilia in history. Um, old fire hose, this was another item I bid on, was the van wagon. Um, it holds a lot of people, it can hold a band actually. And it was used in parades. It would have been a little tough for me for my purposes, but I got this beautiful little, uh, very well put together and decorated Alpenrose Dairy Shetland Pony Parade Wagon. I'm really hoping this will do what I needed to do for the parades in Hillsboro, and maybe even I'll get it down to the Rose Parade. It will remain in our family as a reminder for those early days of Alpenrose. Um, I'm super happy I got this one. I really am. Um, gosh, you guys, it's just, uh, it's, it's, uh, well, let's mark the moment in time. 
uh, one of the greatest family businesses uh, to come out of Oregon. Uh, now will be uh, some sort of development on one of the most beautiful hilltops one could ever hope to own property in. And, uh, and so it is, you know, that uh, time moves on and uh, time waits for no one. A lot of us hang on and we try, right? So, sorry for the long uh, video, but this is, uh, this is for all of you who may have come here, may have been here, uh, may have had your first kiss or brought your first baby to see Santa here. The music store. I mean, all those pianos went for $100 a piece. The bank. Um, all this machinery. That beautiful web safe sold. The banker's desk sold. All these items were collected by the Cadnell family. Here's the circus wagons. Put one of those on your bicycle and cruise Portland, huh? The uh, schoolhouse bell was sold off the top of the school. The confectionery counter was sold. Uh, the showcase here was sold. This is the candy shop. Uh, the old cupboards here were sold and the wood stoves. I mean, what more can I say? Alpen Rose, you were uh, such a big part of so many of our lives. Uh, we will miss you. We'll miss the quarter minute midgets. Uh, the racetrack is over there, the Little League. But we hopefully will never lose our memories. And thanks to Forgotten Oregon and sites like that, uh, things will stay the same. Uh, I'll be in the Opera House here shortly. There are some people stopping by um, to pick up items that are just obviously sort of touring. But uh, gosh, I wish you all the best. Much love for me. Dirk Knutson in the field. Local boy trying to do my part. Take care, Forgotten Oregon Nation.